Hi guys, welcome back and thanks for joining me. Today we're going to take a look at the Russian Star IRP Menu 2. We've been waiting to tackle a Russian Russian for a while now. So let's get this bad boy open and see what we've got. A really, really sturdy cardboard. Very strong with a good silver lining, as you can see, it'll offer some protection from the elements. Straight away as we open it out, we've got a lovely cardboard box full of goodies. Straight off the bat, we've got our wishing stove, three fuel tabs. Creamer, which is not here snapping, it's gone hard. Russian chocolate, fantastic. Got a black currant drink, apparently. Oh, it contains black ones anyway, at the very least. Ten pieces of tuna. Three very large packs of sugar, 20 grams in each, salt, apple butter or apple jam, apple puree, lovely, dirty spoon. Three spoons and a knife. Dirty. Beef meatballs. Tissue. Chuck that over there. Goulash and potatoes. Beef buckwheat porridge. And we've got crackers. We've got four packs of those. Two different types. Lovely. Some rather beaten up containers here. Canned meat. Canned salted bacon. Salted lard in other words. Vegetable ragu. So it's canned vegetables. Processed cheese. I think we know where that one's going to go. Pate. Beef liver. With pork. Minced sausage. Lovely. Three anti-bath wipes. The green one. For dining room surfaces, so you cut the and that sort of thing, and the white one is the anti back for ourselves. Fantastic coffee, cracking tea, two tea bags, multivitamin, lovely Russian matches and strike board. Pepper, go with the salt. Three water purification tablets. And that is just an insert label that tells us this. So if you want to have a look at all of those lists translated, I did take a screenshot. So if you want to press pause and have a look and see what we've got, just to remind yourself, there you go. We're going to get dinner together and get it out onto a tray. I'm very excited. Boom! And there it is. So we're going to go with our crystallised hard, that should be powdered drink. Chocolate, apple puree, minced sausage, 
both types of crackers, whole wheat and normal flour, I believe. And beef meatballs. These are these are the ones that I really really want to try out of all the Russian rations. I'm uh, um, chuffed to bits to have some of those. All right, so let's get our fire going. All you safe to country people. There we go. Let's get our fire going in true Russian style. And get it on. Never used a Russian stove before. So it's anybody's guess. As to how well this is going to work. There we go. Let's get one on. Lovely. Let's open our meatballs up a bit. Make sure they're okay before we light the fire. 250 grams look good, don't they? Our beef meatballs contain 160 calories per 100 grams, and we've got 250 grams there. That's 400 calories in that little pack. Fantastic. Not bad, really. Not in the grand scheme of things. Look at that. The smell from that is wonderful. That smells really good. Alright. Let's get our Russian matches. That's it. Just break them. Oh well. Let's just smash the place up, shall we? Run it. Out. Let's get a strike board. Let's put them off to one side. Works really well. I think I played about that too long. Get another one on. Mm, smoky. Any minute now, cue smoke alarm. I decided to turn it over so I could tip some water on it because I figured that's going to be a damn sight harder to carry than it would the way I do the Latvian ones to get rid extinguish it. There we go. That's better. No more messing around with matches and risking setting off the smoke alarm. So let's pop you on there while you're doing your thing. Let's get everything else open. Doesn't smell the best. It's all tumbled up. Proper had some moisture get to it, that has. Let's chuck some water in and see what we can do with that. And the meatballs starting to blip away. Lovely stuff. Let's leave that to think about it for a bit. Equipment, hands. Equipment, hands. Probably best not to mix them up. Now, as our cutlery was dirty, even though we had no leakages, so it must have gone in like that. Not bad. To wipe down. Let's take a look at our sausage meat. There we go, look at the fat in there. Hmm, not really got a smell. 
half a puree. There we go. Looks like applesauce, doesn't it? That smells good. That smells like applesauce. Right, let's open the crackers. Let's take a few of each out. These have broken up. Uh, taking some sort of beating. I'm looking in, none of our mains cracked open. Especially the cheese. I was dreading that cheese breaking as well. And let's have a look at our chocolate bar. Russian chocolate. Excellent, I've been told this is. See if it's bloomed. Of course it has. <laughs> Why wouldn't it? Still looks good though, doesn't it? Still looks good. Oh, we're waiting. Let's see what it's all about. Well, that's very, very runny, that is. Still looks good though, doesn't it? Oh, that's nice. It's very grainy. It's got a slight, slight taste of an apple you've picked up off a field. That, that fresh unwashed off the ground or off the tree type taste to it. You know the one where you've just picked it in and you've rubbed it on your chair's leg and you've just dug in anyway. Probably got your Swiss Army knife out, sliced it off a bit, you know, enjoyed yourself tastes like that. It's got a little bit of a bitter taste. But it's still really good. Let's try some of these crackers. Russian, Russian crackers are some of the best. That's a little bit stale. Let's try it with some applesauce. See how, how that goes down. Doesn't go down too bad actually. Well, our meatballs. Blip, blip, blip. There we go. Blippity blip blip, look at that lovely stuff. Now, as tempted as I am to keep mixing that, those plastic things you get, it's not really going to happen in the field, is it? It's just going to bend and go all malleable. And... So, let's try some of this sausage. Try not to get all that fat in the middle, I'm not. Yes, I know. Some of you probably say, oh, that's a sin, that's a sin. You want the fat, it's the good bit. I'm not really that fond. There's a sausage meal on its own. Hmm. That's a bit like a luncheon meat. Not spam. The type you probably get sliced at the supermarket. On one of these whole wheat looking crackers. That looks good. There we go. Now, pork, apple. Why not? I think I shall. Staple on your Sunday dinner, that is. Let's have a go. That is sublime. That goes really well together. This drink, however, I hope you can see that in there. It's not mixed well at all. Doesn't taste too bad, but it doesn't taste very fresh. Let's try some pork and apple on a white cracker. Let's see how that goes down. Pork. Apple. Bottoms up. Much, much better on the whole wheat crackers. So, 
safety first. There we go. So let's get this out. Meal number one, out of my Russian 24 hour IRP, menu number two. They are so, so soft. Just, just do with a sub to put these on. Well, that's going down nice. That's really good. Could do some mashed potato though. Some on a cracker. There we go. Look at that. Well, this is just an absolute pleasure. It's a shame about my board. Oh, another one bites to the dust. These meatballs. These meatballs are truly wonderful. You know what? We have pork and apple, classic combination. Let's try beef and apple. Let's see what that's like. It's not as good as the pork and apple, but it's not the worst thing I've ever eaten. I mean, this is that one here. You could literally just pick it up and slope it out the tub. And I bet people do. So let's see what we've got in here then. So this is our multivitamin. Okay, a notch, so we make one. There we go. Smells just like any other normal vitamin. So let's see what this chocolate's all about. Everyone raves about this chocolate. Nice snap. Not too badly bloom like. Good. It's okay. It would taste better than bloomed because it's gonna be powdery. I mean the box smelt very funky when it got here, like it'd been in storage for a very long time. Which is not the case because it's quite a fresh ration in itself. So I don't think it's had the best storage. Especially not without blooming as well. All in all, guys, it was a fairly decent meal. Not too bad at all. Right, so I'll be off to finish this then from tea. And I'll be back with you soon. I'm going to go downstairs. I'm going to let the kid and the wife try some. They are quite eager. Very relieved I didn't set the smoke arm off. I would have really had it in the nick for that one, but can't blame her, can you? It's been a pleasure, so I'll be back with you for part two. Hey, guys, welcome back to dinner. So it turns out, I'm not allowed to light any more Russian fuel tabs in the house. Stunk the house out. The wife's not happy with me. So we've had this main boiling away on the pot. And we're going to crack it open and see how well it worked. So for dinner, we've got our tender pate, it says. As a translation, canned meat, ingredient liver, boneless poultry, cooked fat, crap meal, more fat, salt. Black pepper, nutmeg, they like the fat, don't they? For our main, we've got beef goulash. We've got carrots, beef, flour. Although I must stress, it says raw beef. So cook these well. Potatoes, obviously. Salt, red peppers, sugar. Got some coffee. It's dinner time. It's not too late. And we've got our ragu with three vegetables over on the left. So sterilised canned vegetables including red tomatoes, zucchini, carrots, onions, sweet pepper, rice groats, and tomato puree along with a load of herbs like salt and parsley, that sort of thing. And then we've got a couple of each of the crackers. So let's burn ourselves opening this up and see what we've got. It's 
quite hot. It smells brilliant. The smell coming off there is awesome. Let's just fold that back. Doesn't look too bad, does it? Let's see what our pate looks like. Even a little hiss there. Just looks like a pate, doesn't it? And our vegetable pate, really. That smells really good, you know. That just smells like pate. Or fish that, as the Russians call it. Our coffee is going to be like the uh, other drinks did. So we won't be doing it. Oh, we won't be trying to do any more of those uh, fruit drinks. There we go. Pop that in. A massive, massive sugar sachet. And there's some of you out there who love to chuck it all in. Let's give that a stir. Cracking. Let's go with a vegetable pate. Very soft, very mushy. You can see the oil just solidified on there. Look. Well, that's different. I don't want to make that. It is very different. Come back to that. Let's try some goulash. I can see some nice chunks. Yeah, some potato squares as well there, look. Let's get some of that out. There we go. There we go, everybody, beef goulash. Well, that's nice. That's very pleasant. That certainly warm your cockles in the winter, as me nan would have said. Proper black country style. Looks like a soggy chip, doesn't it? Well, I hope it's potato and it's not some big lump of fat. Yes, that is definitely potato. I am enjoying this. This is lovely, this is. Just give the wife some. She's not a big beef fan at all. She likes it too. So that's a double thumbs up from us. certainly got an added sweetness that I know carrots had a sweetness but there is a very there is very much an uh, artificial sweetness so they the put sugar in this anyway to get calories into you isn't it fat sugar coffee black Now that is nice. That's going to be my number one coffee, that is, out of an MRE. That is awesome. Don't know my own strength. I'm not a big patty fan. No, you don't want to see my face. It'd be worse than CT's eating patty. But we'll try some anyway. Okay, I've had worse. I've had worse. Let's try this on this one as well. The results are still out of it, that. I don't like mushy vegetables. I never have. I wouldn't eat my vegetables as a kid because at school were all mush and it put me off for a long time. I'm not struck on those vegetables, but it is a good way to get your veggies into you. I mean, I know we've got our veggies in here, but nowhere near the amount you're supposed to have, especially not your five a day. I bet mush down into there, you've probably got two, three a day. Well, this is awesome. It needs to let it boil a bit more, I think. It's not as hot as it should have been. Beef, certainly not raw. What a crappy translation. You can see all the oil and grease in there.
Well guys, I'm sure you've seen enough of me eating my beef goulash. Drinking my black coffee. A very nice black coffee. I think I need to get some more of that coffee. That is good. I'm going to take this off camera now. You don't want to see me eating my dinner. But you know what? We're out in the fields, we're off hiking, we've gone camping. Even wild camping. I've been looking at some videos where people are going stealth camping, sleeping behind signs in cities. It's hilarious. Especially when they use things like bright green sleeping bags. But anyway, it looks great. If you've got these kind of meals, if you've got this kind of food, you're not going to be disappointed. If you sat there being stealthy trying to hide, way too many calories. But if you're hiking, trekking, walking a lot, you're in the army. It is what it's designed for after all. It's getting everything you need packed into a small little pack. Once you've taken it out of the box, you've broken it down and moved it around your kit. Carefully, of course, because you know these things do pop. We see it all the time. I've seen quite a few of you have had your uh, Russian components pop open and literally cover everything in grease and cheese and all other sorts of stuff. But yeah, apart from that, it's absolutely cracking. So I'm going to go and finish this now before it gets too cold. I'll be back with you for tea. Fantastic. Here we are then, guys, our last meal. So we've got our buckwheat porridge with beef. That's the processed cheese. I wasn't going to open it. I was going to save them up and send them off to a certain Canadian trucker, but I managed to uh, pierce it somehow, so I'll have a look anyway. And this, well, that's what Google Translate said. Salted canned film. Yummy. Can't wait. But this, this, save this to last. Apple jam. Lovely stuff. Chewing gum, black tea and some crackers. Yes, you will have noticed I've not opened the second packet of crackers. Reason being, I've got a plan for these. Got some things I want to have some authentic crackers for. That's a later video. I've probably got another hundred between here and there. So many plans, so little time. But that is the life of a part-time YouTuber. Right, so let's get this tea made. First of all, I've had the uh, beef and buckwheat porridge and the salted film boiling away as I'm no longer allowed to use the uh, tail stove. Ah, oh, crap. Oh, it didn't work, did it? Oh. In it goes anyway. It was stuck in the, uh, the seal at the top of the pack. So it didn't work. Never mind. Let's get some water in there. There we go. Lovely stuff. Get a bit of a poke, let it steep, stir that sugar in. Cracking stuff. Let's open this salted canned film. Let's see what this is all about. It is red hot to touch. Oh, 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 look at that. Doesn't actually smell too bad. It smells like bacon. I don't think I can pick it up. They're spilling it everywhere. There you go. Yep, there it goes. Spilled it everywhere. So that thankfully went everywhere but the carpet. So let's have a look. It literally just looks like. They've just piled in a load of fat. I suppose that's one way to get your calories in, isn't it? I won't be trying any of that, I'm afraid. And where's the beef with buckwheat? Looks good, doesn't it? And let's open this up, why not?
There we go. Big lump of yellow nastiness. And we can see right there. Because I managed to crack the film. Don't know how I did that. It was only in the box. Started going a bit iffy. Good job we're not eating that. But this I'm looking forward to. This. This I'm cracking open first. I've heard so many good stories about this stuff. Let's give it a squeeze. Look at that. Looks good, doesn't it? But there's a lot of sugar in there. There we go, guys. Look at it. Mmm. Wow, oh, that's nice. Well, that certainly lives up to the hype. I'm glad I waited for that. That'd go nice with some peanut butter. Anyway. It breaks up nicely. My beef and buckwheat. Let's get into it. Let's get ourselves a nice, nice piece here. There we go. Look at that. It's got a very deep, earthy flavour to it. It's nice. So tender. The buckwheat breaks apart, but it's not not mush. And the beef itself, I mean, look at those pieces of beef, those strands there. It's fantastic. That's an absolute pleasure. It's not the best meal. The goulash. The goulash would have been my best service. Then meatballs, then that. But still, you're not going to say no. Not at all. Let's try some with a cracker. Let's get a nice bit. Comes out like a slug, doesn't it? There we are. Definitely, definitely good that. Let's get some beef with buckwheat going as well, shall we? A nice, nice, nice big piece. There we go, guys. Bottoms up. Well, that has a really nice. This Russian ration has not let me down at all. At all. My very first one, menu number two. Love it. What can I say? Absolutely amazing. Now, I'm not going to eat one of these now because I do want to finish this. I'm not a jam. But we're going to have a look anyway. Look a few of these bricks out. Oh, they're round. Look at that. They're round. They've always been square. Nice. It's a nice change, isn't it, though? Let's try some of our tea. It'll warm you up. I'm not struck. Not a big tea drinker, though, but you're not going to go cold. You want a hot drink. You've got, what, one coffee, two tea. Some of these, which were crap. Mm. Oh, clumpy, clumpy. Moisture's got to him at some point. There you go, in the bin. I'm far from that, guys. I'm, I'm well impressed with this ration. Can't wait to try some more. We'll get some hands on some. Can't wait to try some more. We'll get my hands on some soon. Lots of other little beauties to bring to you in the meantime. So this is tea. I'm going to go and eat this off camera. Appreciate you all watching. Please like, share and subscribe. Hit the bell if you want to hear my notifications come popping up in your feed. And stay safe. And I'll be back soon for more eats treats and MREs. Uh -huh.